configuring a remote access VPN server and client. This topology Use the router 7200 with iOS 15.0 that supports uh, some based firewall. Okay, switches are not necessary. I will place a Windows 7 PC on our one side a Windows 10 PC and a Windows 10 PC on our three side I'm using Windows 7 on this side because the Cisco Systems VPN client is a depreciated software and, and cannot be installed on a Windows 10 PC. So that's why I'm using Windows 7 PC here. Okay, instead of using serial 00 on R1 and R2, I'm using uh, serial 30 on R1 and R2. Instead of using serial 1 on R2 and R3, I will use serial 31 on R2 and R3. Instead of using fast Ethernet 01, on R1 and on R3, I will use gigabit 10 on R1 and on R3. One zero. Okay, and go to VirtualBox. and set the the network to generic driver cable connected okay now ready
the addressing table basic router configuration configure host names configure the physical interface IP addresses configure clock rate okay R1 start Configure terminal interface gigabit one zero IP address one one to not mass twenty four shut down serial three zero IP address two fifty two thirty no shutdown configure static default routes on R one and R three on R one default static route with using NetsHop IP address Let's hop IP address exit IP route the default route let's hop IP address okay and show running config Gigabit serial interface Don't forget to configure clock rate serial three zero clock rate Okay and R2 start configure terminal interface serial three zero three zero IP address Two. No shutdown. Serial three one. IP address. Two fifty two. Clock right. No shutdown. On R2 configure static routes configure a static route from R2 to the R1 LAN and configure a static route from R2 to the R3 LAN destination R1 LAN using NetHub IP address and destination R3 LAN using NetHub IP address exit IP route one zero R one LAN 
24. Let's have IP address. Destination 3.0. 24. Let's have IP address. 10.2.2.1. R3 Configure terminal interface serial 31 IP address thirty to fifty two not shut down interface gigabit one zero IP address three dot one twenty four no shutdown. On R3, configure a default static route. Exit. Using NetHub IP address. Configure PC host Windows 7 PC start Configure static IP address one dot three. One that one, no DNS, okay. Okay, IP config, ping, the default gateway. Success Ping R2 10 1 1 2 Success Ping R3 10 2 2 1 Success Configure Windows 10 PC on R3 Start Three dot three, three dot one, not the MS, okay.
just common prompt okay from Windows 7 PC ping to Windows 10 PC three dot three They pinch to the fall gateway. Success. Uh, disable firewall. So that's why ping uh, is failing. Now ping again from Windows 7 PC to Windows 10 PC. Success. Also uh, disable firewall on Windows 7 PC. And you will be able to ping from R3 LAN to R1 LAN. Success. Okay, configure minimum password length, security password, minimum length. The enable the enable password Cisco one two three four five the line console password Cisco compass exit timeout. Uh, five minutes, zero seconds. Login to enable the password and login synchronous. For BTY lines, line BTY zero to four. Password Cisco BTY pass. Accept timeout five minutes login. Okay. Apply this on R1 and also on R2 and R3 on all devices. R1 configure terminal. Right click to paste. Copy again. R2, right click to paste, copy R3, right click to paste, encrypt clear text passwords on R1, R2 and R3. R1, enter. R2, enter. R3, enter. Issue show running config command. Can you read the console? 
auxiliary and BTY passwords explain. R1 and show running config. Line console encrypted, BTY line encrypted. Now the passwords are now encrypted. Configure login login banner only on R1 and R3. R1 configure terminal right click copy again R3 right click ready. Configuring a remote access VPN. Prepare R3 for CCP access. Cisco Configuration Professional. Enable the HTTP secure server. R3 IP HTTP secure server. Okay, ready. Also, enable the HTTP server. This command is not here, but I will do this because the connection to the HTTP server will not be possible if the certificate is very old. So, to avoid this problem, I will implement only the HTTP server. And I will access only using HTTP and not HTTPS. Enter. Create a username and password with privilege 15. Username admin 01 privilege 15. And the password admin 01 pass. Oh, privilege ready. Enable authentication using the local database IP HTTP authentication local. Now access CCP Cisco Configuration Professional and discover R3. Okay. From Windows 10 PC access to R3 using CCP, Cisco Configuration Profession. But first of all, install on Windows 10 CCP. Download this software from my blog on CCNI Security tab. Cisco Configuration Professional. Okay. Also, you will download later the Cisco Systems VPN client.
Next. Okay. Uh, install Java on this PC. It's not present. Flash player already installed. Okay. Okay, stop the virtual machine and on virtual box connect to the real network the Windows 10 network uh, connect to real network okay and start the virtual machine to install Java also, you can install Flash Player and other requirements for CCP. Okay, configure networking. Execute I explore search for Java. java.com download accept and download run yes install Okay, you have successfully installed Java. Close. Power off. Okay, um, change this to generic driver to use on GNS3. And start. Okay, configure again networking. The static IP address. Through 
three 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 one. Common prompts. Ping from Windows 10 PC to R3. Read at the bottom. Success. Access using CCP. Okay, but before to enter, uh, go to panel, control panel. Search for Java. Java 32 bit. Okay, go to security and exception site list at edit site list and add the following http column slash slash 127.0.0.1 port 8600 okay continue uh, okay okay this is the address um, that uh, Cisco Configuration Professional will use okay right click and Cisco Configuration Professional and run as administrator. Yes. A low blocked content. Okay, look at this address up here, HTTP column slash slash 127.0.0.1 port 8600. That's why I include this on the Java exception list. Okay, do you want to run this application? I accept and, and run. Cancel here and add the address of R3 3.1 username remember the username previously configured admin01 with password admin01pass admin01pass Okay, and if you click here, you will connect using HTTPS to avoid certificates issues. I will uh, disable the secure uh, HTTPS and I will use only H HTTP. This guide is is telling you to use HTTPS but I I don't want problems I will use only HTTP disable and disable this okay I will use only HTTP okay Okay, and click on discover.
Now you have the router host name R3 and is discovered. Now you can click here on configure and you will see router security. Now configure the sound based firewall on R3. Okay, um, security firewall firewall. Security firewall firewall. Okay, basic firewall launch selected task. Basic firewall launch the selected task. Uh, next. Okay, set the facet on it uh, inside trusted and serial one outside untrusted. Okay, um, in my case, gigabit one zero, one zero, inside trusted, and serial three one, outside untrusted. Trusted, untrusted. Okay, next. Yes. Okay. Select low security. Low security. Next, finish. Next, finish. Okay, look at the comments. These are the commands to create the some based firewall. Okay, the serial interface out sound, gigabit in sound. Okay. And click um, the lever to send commands to the router. Okay, send commands to the router, click on the lever. Configuration delivered to device, okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Verify firewall functionality from PCC ping R2 interface serial one. Okay, remember PCC is the PC placed on LAN of R3 to R2 serial interface, serial one interface. Okay, from this PC, Windows 10 PC ping to serial one interface on R2, 10, 2, 2, 2. 10, 2, 2, 2. Success Are the pings successful? Explain Yes, ICMP airco replace are allowed by the CCP permit ICMP reply policy From external router R2 ping PCC at IP address 192.168.3.3 Okay, go to R2 and ping from
بيخ والفايل اوكي also from from windows 7 pc try to ping windows 10 pc ping will fail because the firewall is blocking Okay, are ping successful? Explain. Now the ping was initiated from outside and was blocked. Okay, firewall is blocking the outside traffic. The traffic that is initiated from the outside. But the traffic that is initiated from the inside is permitted. Okay. Use CCP VPN Wizard to configure the EC VPN server. Configure Security VPN EC VPN server. Security VPN. ECBPN server. Launch ECBPN server wizard. Launch ECBPN. Yes. Do you want to enable AAA? Yes. Click and deliver. Deliver to send commands to the device. Deliver. Configuration delivered to the device. Okay. Okay. Read through the descriptions of tasks displayed in the ECBPN server wizard window. How does the client receive the IPsec policies? They are centrally managed. IPsec policies are pushed to the client by the server, minimizing configuration by the end user. How does the ACPPN remote server configuration differ from the side to side? But configure IK policies and IPsec translations. The remote access server configures a virtual template interface, authentication, group policy lookup, and user authentication, among others. Next. Configure the virtual tunnel interface and authentication. Okay, configure this tunnel, this uh, green line. Select the numbered serial one interface and select pre shared keys and next. Okay, the exit interface is CL31. Unnumber it, CL31, and pre shared keys. Next. Select the IK proposal. What is the encryption method used by the default IK policy? Three deaths. What is the hash algorithm used 
to ensure that the keys have not been tampered with SHA-1. Next. Select transform set. The default CCP transform set is used. What ESP encryption method is used with the default transform set? ESP encryption, ESP 3 bes the encryption method. Next. Specify group authorization and group policy lookup. Use the local option. Next. Local Next. Configure user authentication. You can select where user credentials will be configured. You can select an external server such as a radius, such as a radius server, a local database, or both. Click the Enable User Authentication checkbox and set the default local only. Okay, Enable User Authentication local only. Where does the router look for valid user accounts and passwords to authenticate remote VPN users when they attempt to log in? The local router user database. If the username is not locally defined on R3, the user cannot log in. Add user credentials. In the user account window, you can be currently defined users or add new users. Okay, add user credentials. This is the existing admin01 username and add one. What is the name of the user currently defined and what is the user privilege level? Admin01 privilege level 15. Okay, zero one, admin01 privilege level 15. How was this user defined during the initial Cisco IOS CLI configuration? Click to add, add, create this VPN user one with password VPN user one pass. And then create password using the MD5 hash algorithm. Privilege limit level one. VPN user one. Okay, sensitive password. VPN user one pass again. VPN user one pass. Encrypt using MD5 level 1 ok ready ok what is the range of privilege level that can be set for a user from 0 to 15 Cancel. Next.
specify group authorization and user group policies. You must create at least one group policy for the VPN server. Okay, add to create a group policy. Enter VPN access as the name for this group, case sensitive VPN dash access case sensitive. Enter a new pre shared key of Cisco one two three four five. Cisco one two three four five. Cisco one two three four five. Pull information from one eight two one sixty eight three one hundred and one eight two one sixty eight three one hundred fifty using this submit mass twenty four. Submit mask twenty four from the pool of addresses from three dot one hundred to three dot one hundred fifty. Enter fifty for the maximum connections allowed. Fifty connections. Okay. The IP addresses in the pool and the IP addresses of interface gigabit 1.0 are in the same subnet. Do you want to continue? Yes. Configure idle timer. Enter one hour. And next. Okay, configure Either timer one hour zero minutes zero seconds next. Do not enable CTCP. Do not enable this next. Ensure that the action modify checkbox is checked. This option allows CCP to modify the firewall on CR1 to allow IPsec VPN traffic to reach the internal LAN. Click OK to continue. OK. Action modified should be checked. So this will permit that this Windows 7 PC will enter to the internal LAN, the yellow square. Okay. Do not click the task VPN connectivity after configuring checkbox and click finish. Okay, review the, this and I key policies, the tunnel, the virtual template number one, tunnel, IP before, IP sec, using a number CR31 interface, the transform set. The policy, uh, group policy, do not enable this, finish, deliver, deliver it to the device, how many commands are delivered? 133 comments. Okay. Test the VPN server. Okay, click here, test VPN server. Start. The VPN tunnel is up. 
Okay, very nice, Klaus. Use the Cisco VPN client to test the remote access VPN. Install Cisco VPN client. Okay, this should be installed on Windows 7 PC in the another side. This next I accept finish. Okay, VPN client. Okay, and connection entry stop new. Okay, new. Here or here, new. Okay, connection entry, just uh, a name, can be any name, for example, VPN R3. Uh, description, any description, the host, this IP address, R3 CR1 interface, this IP address, 10221. Group authentication name, okay, this should be uh, case sensitive is configured on the R3 router. Okay, remember the previous step. You configured this VPN access case sensitive. And the password Cisco one two three four five. Again, save. Test access from PCA without a VPN connection. You created a VPN connection entry on VPN client computer PCA, but have not activated so the VPN tunnel is not yet up open common prompt on PCI and ping PCC uh, are the ping successful and uh, explain okay try to ping uh, the PC on R3 No, the pings fail because PCA still has its configured IP address 192.168.13 and is blocked by the firewall. PCA cannot access the internal PCC host in the 192.168.3.024 network without an address from the VPN access group associated with the 
3.100-150 other spool. Okay, IP config. Okay, the ping fails because your IP address is 182.168.1.3. It's, um, it's placed on a different network from the destination that is 182.168.3.0 network. Okay, you are in a different uh, subnet on a different network. Okay, establish the VPN, connect, right click, connect, username, remember your VPN user1, case sensitive, VPN user1, and the password, VPN user1 pass, okay. Very nice. Okay, click here and double click here. Status statistics. What does it say about the connection status? Connected, connected. IP config on PCA or Windows 7 PC, IP config. Now you have an additional Ethernet adapter local layer connection with this IP address 182.168.3.100. Now you have an um, IP address that is placed on the LAN on the yellow square. What is the IP address of the first local area connection? Okay, 182.168.13. Local area connection number two, 182.168.3.100. Close the VPN connection and reopen it. Okay, but Before to do that, uh, ping the Windows 10 PC. Success. Okay. Close the connection, disconnect. Connect again. Authenticate VPN user one pass. Verify the IP address again, IP config, and look at before your IP address on the second local area connection is was one eight two one sixty eight three dot one hundred but now is one eight two one sixty eight three one hundred one. Okay, what is the IP address of local area connection to now one eight two one sixty eight three one of one? Okay, VPN VPN connection menu bar status statistics. Okay, here, status statistics, IP address the server, 
R3 bytes receive it send the encryption the authentication okay What is the current address obtained from R3 VPN server? What is the range of addresses that can be assigned? Currently, the IP address is 192.168.3.101, but it can range from 100 through 150. The pool of addresses was defined previously. What is the VPN server address 10.2.2.1 How many packets had have been encrypted? One hundred fifty four. What is the encryption method? One sixty eight bit three deaths. Authentication method. HMAC SHA1 Test access from the client PCA using the VPN connection With the VPN connection from computer PCA to router R3 activated Open command prompt on PCA and ping the PCC IP address 182.168.33 on R3 LAN Where the ping successful explain Okay, pink success. Yes, the pinks are successful. PCA has an IP address 182.168.3.1 of 1 in this case, but was assigned by the VPN server. PCA or Windows 7 PC can access the internal PCC or Windows 10 PC host on network 182.168.3.0.24 because both the hosts are on the same subnet. How many packets have now been encrypted? One hundred fifty-nine. Open console connection for R three and locate message displayed indicating that the virtual interface came up when the VPN client connection was made. Okay, go to R three. Okay, previously interface virtual access to change state to down. But now line protocol on interface virtual access to change state to up. And show IP interface brief. Look at this up, up. What is the name of the interface on R3 that is activated for the VPN interface virtual access to? On Windows 7 PC IP config hall. IP config hall. What is the configuration for the first local area connection, address mask, default gateway, and description? First local area connection, IP, subnet mask, default gateway, description. The desktop adapter. For area connection number two, area connection number two, IP address three dot one of one, subnet mask, default gateway, description, Cisco system VPN adapter for 64 bit windows. Telnet from PCA to R3. Telnet uh, from PCA command prompt Telnet to R3. At the fast Ethernet 01 IP address 
Okay. Use Telnet to access from Windows 7 PC to Gigabit 1.0 interface 182.168.3.1. Telnet port 23. Username admin 01. And password admin 01 pass. What is the router command prompt and uh, why is this? The command prompt is privilege accept because user admin was defined with the privilege level of 15, the highest, the prompt defaults to privileged exit mode. Okay. So running config. Show users. Sorry, show space users. Okay, uh, console connection and uh, BTY use internet admin 01 from this IP address. Exit. Reflection. Why is VPN a good option for remote users? It is a flexible technology that is widely supported by equipment vendors. Service is commonly available from ISPs. A VPN server can be set up independent of the ISP if desired. VPN provides easy and secure access to internal land resources from remote workers and business partners. Any authorized persons with an internet connection can access internal resources as if they were on the local land. 